And we are back for more Dragon Age Inquisition. We're gonna go see the new stuff on the war table. Hey! Uh, hello, losers. Hi, frames. Glad to see that you're still a thing. Alright, um... It's unsuited. Uh, Alright, hold on, what is this? Oh god, yes! What, what's this? Old Baron. Okay. Yeah, we're getting this. That is so useful. Oh my god, alright. <clears throat> Jar of Bees Grenade Recipe, yes! Alright, yeah, go, go for it, Colin. Alright. Hey, gold. Uh, uh, we not have, uh... Oh, there it is. More influence. Great. Let's yeah. Let's utilize these Grey Warden treaties. At your service. Okay. There's one over here. An offer. <clears throat> Oh god, I'm so glad we have 12 potions now. <laughs> we we might have a chance. We have a fighting chance, guys. A fighting fucking chance. Oh, holy crap. And now we have the jar of bees recipe. Which is great. Um, I think I'll still be using the Antivan fire. But the, uh, maybe I'll put, like, the bees to someone else. Because the bees are very useful. Okay. Let's see. Doodle do 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 need more of that, damn it. <clears throat> okay. Um panic stuff, yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright. Let's see. Healing potion. Can't do that. Regen. Can't do any of this. Okay. And, uh, let's get that. All right, great. Perhaps, my man. Perhaps. Okay, world map. Um. All right. That's that treatment crap. I don't, I don't care about you. Can I just fast travel directly to Redcliffe? Oh, here we go. Okay, we'll go with Sarah, Blackwall, and uh, Last Soul. I know I still need to get Vivian, but I don't, I don't, I don't freaking care. <laughs> I really don't. She's another bad companion. <clears throat> well, really, there's only really two companions in this game that I fucking detest. And one of them I'm flat out gonna say fuck you to. <laughs> and, uh, th these two companions I don't even have yet. Every other companion we have right now is pretty good. Even Sarah, who's a little bit annoying, she's good. But these other two dinks. Vivian's a chooch. Who's only compare who only fucking cares for herself? Like, oh, there's, there's this big thing. Oh, but I need you, you know. Oh, I need you to do this. Why do you want me to do that? Oh, I can't really tell you. Fucking she's retarded. Boy, would I love it if this game loaded. Okay. To look around. Profound. I don't know why the statue is just of a griffin. Oh, hello. The Inquisition. Thank the maker you came. Tell me you're here to reinstate the circles and end this madness. I'm sorry, I didn't get your name. Hanley Durbane of the Cumberland Circle of Magi. 
I heard of your miraculous survival at the Temple of Sacred Ashes, and I am so honored to meet you. Mm, okay. Um. I thought this was the stronghold of the rebellion. Why do you want the circles back? I never supported this rebellion. I'm a loyal Andrastian, and I deplore the chaos this war has wrought. The Templars rebelling, the murder of the Most Holy. I can scarce live with the guilt. With the guilt? Why are you here? And what are you doing in Redcliffe? Rebellion won out. What was I to do? Launch a counter rebellion on my own? Yeah, I would have. <laughs> I followed my first in Chancellor's lead, as I always have. She brought us here. I take it you don't support the Tevinters. I'll trust this ashes never. They don't even sing the right chant. And they sacrifice children, don't they? I don't know how the Grand Enchanter could think of accepting their offer. You can get us out of this bargain, can't you? Before we're all shipped off to the Imperium like cattle. Oop. I haven't seen anyone from Devinder in the village. Profound. How can I help you? I take it you don't support the Devinters. Of trust as ashes, never. They don't even sing the right chant. And they sacrifice children, don't they? I don't know how the Grand Enchanter could think of accepting their offer. You can get us out of this bargain, can't you? Before we're all shipped off to the Imperium like cattle. I haven't seen anyone from Devinder in the village. They're all at the castle, plotting, no doubt. Thank you for your time. Okay. Wall black. Fuck. Hold on. Okay, let us give you this. Let's head to this charm tree. No one guy wants us to go there. Oh, you're from the Inquisition. I didn't think you'd still be here. Were you really looking to ally with us? Yep. I want this war to end without sending you back to the circle. There has to be a way, right? We're not what they think. All blood mages and abominations. We just want to be normal, have families, use our magic to, to help grow crops or something. We never wanted war. What choice did we have? Stay and be slaves? Sometimes to achieve the world one desires, one must take regrettable measures. I hope you can do something. <laughs> what is all this doing? ourselves to Tevinter. That can't be the right way to end this. God damn it, game! God. Hello again. Oh. Take care. Oh God, that's awful. Hello again. You seem young to be part of this. I'm Lisa. I came into my magic when I was nine years old. Templars came into the alienage and took me to the circle. They didn't even let me say goodbye. It's not right. I studied hard. I passed my harrowing. I sing the chant. But I'll be locked up for the rest of my life. I agree. You don't approve of the Grand Enchanter's decision. I was there when we voted to leave the circle. She really seemed to care what we wanted. She was ready to rebel, but she wasn't going to unless it was the will of all mages. It's hard to believe she'd go behind our backs and sell us to the Magisters. How long has Magister Alexius been here? A day or two after. After the Conclave, he arrived. Come to save us from the wrath of the Templars, they said. But this doesn't feel like safety. Take care of yourself. There's something strange going on. I never thought the Grand Enchanter. Take care. Over. Alright, now let's head to the Chantry. Was a true blight. I mean, I'll tell you what, if there's a fucking archdemon, which there was, it's a blight. It's profound, I know. What the hell's going on? What's going on? What's going on? Good. You're finally here. 
Now help me close this, would you? Slowing down time, okay. <clears throat> oh, my God, this thing's a cluster fuck. Inside the chantry. Howdy. <laughs> Fascinating. How does that work exactly? <laughs> you don't even know, do you? You just wiggle your fingers and boom. Rift closes. Who are you? Ah, getting ahead of myself again, I see. Dorian of House Parvis. Most recently, of Minratus. How do you do? Magister Alexius was once my mentor, so my assistance should be valuable, as I'm sure you can imagine. I was expecting Felix to be here. I'm sure he's on his way. He was to give you the note, then meet us here after ditching his father. Alexius couldn't jump to Felix's side fast enough when he pretended to be faint. Is something wrong with him? He's had some lingering illness for months. <clears throat> Felix is an only child, and Alexius is being a mother hen, most likely. Are you a magister? All right, let's say this once. I'm a mage from Tevinter, but not a member of the Magisterium. I know Southerners use the terms interchangeably, but that only makes you sound like barbarians. You're betraying your mentor because... Alexius was my mentor. Meaning he's not any longer, not for some time. Good. Look, he's a pinko. That there's danger. That should be obvious even without the note. Let's start with Alexius claiming the allegiance of the mage rebels out from under you. As if by magic, yes? Which is exactly right. To reach Redcliffe, before the Inquisition, Alexius distorted time itself. What? He arranged it so he could arrive here just after the Divine died. You catch on quick. That is fascinating, if true, and almost certainly dangerous. The rift you closed here. You saw how it twisted time around itself, sped some things up and slowed others down. Soon, there will be more like it, and they'll appear further and further away from Redcliffe. The magic Alexius is using is wildly unstable. It's unraveling the world. <clears throat> You're asking me to take a lot on faith. I know what I'm talking about. I helped develop this magic. When I was still his apprentice, it was pure theory. Alexius could never get it to work. I love that mustache. What I don't understand is why he's <laughs> ripping time to shreds just to gain a few hundred lackeys. He didn't do it for them. Hey, it's Bob. Took you long enough. Is he getting suspicious? No, but I shouldn't have played the illness card. I thought he'd be fussing over me all day. My father's joined a cult, the Vinter Supremacists. They call themselves Venatori. And I can tell you one thing. Whatever he's done for them, he's done it to get to you. <laughs> I'm flattered. Alexius is your father. Why are you working against him? For the same reason Dorian works against him. I love my father, and I love my country. But this? Cults? Time magic? What he's doing now is madness. For his own sake, you have to stop him. It would also be nice if he didn't rip a hole in time. There's already a hole in the sky. 
Why would he rearrange time and indenture the Mage Rebellion just to get to me? They're obsessed with you, but I don't know why. Perhaps because you survived the Temple of Sacred Ashes. You can close the rifts. Uh, maybe there's a connection. Or they see you as a threat. If the Venatori are behind those rifts or the breach in the sky, they're even worse than I thought. Well, if they do all this to me, I'm flattered. All this for me? No, I didn't get Alexius anything. Send him a fruit basket. Everyone loves those. <laughs> you know you're his target. Expecting the trap is the first step in turning it to your advantage. I can't stay in Redcliffe. Alexius doesn't know I'm here, and I want to keep it that way for now. But whenever you're ready to deal with him, I want to be there. I'll be in touch. Oh, and Felix, try not to get yourself killed. There are worse things than dying, Dorian. True! You get fisted for eternity. That would suck. Terra Talons. Okay, so we have to go back to the war room. I should have just done this earlier. Ah, oh, whatever. <sighs> well, I guess here's where you'll see a cut. Alright, we're back. Even though it's the same episode. But here we are. In Cliff Red. Dude, I love those mountains. Very pretty. And the whole, you know, rift into the sky, but... Oh, dude, there's actually shit, like, floating up there. I love it. Oi, Varric, how you doing? Need something? Nope. Flip, flop, the flip, dip, do, do, do. I can't speak English. It's quite the problem. As uh, you can imagine. Do they? I would hope so. Do you need anything more, revered mother? I wouldn't want like some dunk. If you're not using them later, Sigrid is willing to pay. I don't feel comfortable. Good day to you. What do the people make of us? Despite our fame, we're low on steadfast allies. We must aim for more. Any thoughts on the people here? Who did you mean? What do you think of Sir Blackwall? Sir Blackwall seems as loyal to the purpose of the Inquisition as he is to the Wardens. His travels must have taken him strange places. I wish he'd speak more about them. The Iron Bull has had to have made an impression. He is a loud, unapologetic accident merely waiting to happen. Mm -hmm. I do wish he'd stop daring poor dignitaries to outdrink him. <laughs> thinking of Cassandra. <laughs> Seeker Pentecast is a princess of the Kingdom of Nevada, although that barely seems important to her. She was not interested when I asked if we might make use of her royal relations. Still, the Inquisition would not have formed without Cassandra. She's an extraordinarily driven woman. What's your impression of Solus? I suppose I should be wary of an apostate, but our elven mage has conducted himself with the utmost propriety. And he has the most fascinating stories. I'd love to know how you and Sarah get along. I know she extracts gossip from the servants, and she keeps prying into things. Sarah's ability to vanish whenever her mischief is discovered must come in handy, however, I'm sure. I was thinking of Varric. Oh, I could listen to his tales for hours. <laughs> he actually let me read a chapter of his next book he's writing. My friends would be sick with envy if they knew. It's excellent, but a bit different from his past works. Only three beheadings so far. Lol. Let's speak later. Another time. Okay. Hi, frames. High frames. There you go. Is this little thing? Oh, we have 45 seconds. Chancellor Roderick came to speak with me. Could you 
try not to antagonize him. If I offend the man so easily, perhaps he should try leaving me alone. Um, on the waking sea. To work. Um. <laughs> Strange chalk, but of course. Let's see what we have. Golden iron, quite the combo. Um. Let us begin. Oh, so they both do cost the same. Choosing the mage was making it impossible to work with the Templars. <clears throat> Redcliffe Castle and the mages who could who could close the breach are under control of the Magister Garion Alexis, a venatory cultist with an unhealthy interest in the Valen and the power to reorder time itself. He was kindly invited to the castle alone to negotiate. It's an obvious trap, but Liliana and her agents can infiltrate the castle and remove the venatory threat. While Alexis' attention is diverted, dangerous game, but it's her best chance. I agree. We don't have the manpower to take the castle. Either we find another way in, or give up this nonsense and go and get the Templar. Shut up, Cullen. Red Cliff is in the hands of a Magister. This cannot be allowed to stand. The letter from Alexius asked for the Herald of Andraste by name. It's an obvious trap. Oh, nice. Isn't that kind of him? What does Alexius say about me? He's so complimentary that we are certain he wants to kill you. Not this again. Redcliffe Castle is one of the most defensible fortresses in Ferelden. It has repelled thousands of assaults. If you go in there, you'll die. And we'll lose the only means we have of closing these rifts. I won't allow it. And if we but you'll allow me to go to the Templars and we don't know what the fuck's up with them! And leave a hostile foreign power on our doorstep. Even if we could assault the Keep, it would be for naught. An Orlesian Inquisition's army marching into Ferelden would provoke a war. Our hands are tied. The Magister has outplayed us. The Magister's son, Felix, told me Alexius is in a cult that's obsessed with me. I doubt they'll graciously receive our apologies and go about their business. <clears throat> they will remain a threat and a powerful one unless we act. We cannot accept defeat now. There must be a solution. Where is the Earl of Redcliffe? I'm sure he'd help us get his castle back. After he was displaced, Earl Tegan rode straight for Dunarin to petition the Crown for help. I doubt he'll want our assistance once the Ferelden army lays siege to his castle. Wait. There is a secret passage into the castle, an escape route for the family. It's too narrow for our troops, but we could send agents through. Too risky. Those agents will be discovered well before they reach the Magister. That's why we need a distraction. Perhaps the envoy Alexius wants so badly. While they're focused on Lavelle, we break the Magister's defenses. It could work, but it's a huge risk. Fortunately, you'll have help. Oh, hi, Dorian. This man says he has information about the Magister and his methods, Commander. Your spies will never get past Alexius's magic without my help. So if you're going after him, I'm coming along. The plan puts you in the most danger. We can't in good conscience order you to do this. We can still go after the Templars if you'd rather not play the bait. It's up to you. Do 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 do. <laughs> yeah, fuck the Templars. Okay, so now we're confirmed to have Dorian. So, let us have the bull! Because, you know, having a Kunari, who is a fundamental enemy of the Taventer Imperium, going with us will just... Only good things can happen from this. Only good things. I don't see anything wrong going on. No, war? Yeah, crazy. No, Red Lyrium. The conclave. 
<laughs> it's a dead body. Howdy. Announce us. That's a cool. The invitation was for Master Lavellan only. Mask. The rest of you must wait here. They have to accompany me. You wouldn't deprive me of my attaches, would you? Dude, those masks look sick. I love it. I love their whole robe and get up thing. Wow, this looks absolutely badass. My Lord Magister, the agents of the Inquisition have arrived. My friend, it's so good to see you again. And your associates, of course. I'm sure we can work out some arrangement that is equitable to all. Are we mages to have no voice in deciding our fate? Fiona, you would not have turned your followers over to my care if you did not trust me with their lives. <laughs> you... <gasps> of course she trusts you, Alexius. I'm sure lots of people put their lives in your hands. You have one of those faces. Yes, the Magisterium tells me that so often. Shall we begin our talks? <laughs> the Inquisition needs mages to close the breach, and I have them. So, what shall you offer in exchange? We have connections. The Inquisition has many backers among the Orlesian nobility. I'm sure we can find suitable compensation. I'm not sure what the Orlesian nobility have to offer that I don't already possess. He knows everything, Father. Felix, what have you done? You wanted me here. Why? Do you know what you are? You walk into my stronghold with your stolen mark, a gift you don't even understand, and think you're in control. You're nothing but a mistake. If I'm a mistake, what exactly was the breach supposed to accomplish? It was to be a triumphant moment for the Elder One. What? For this world. Father, listen to yourself. Do you know what you sound like? He sounds exactly like the sort of villainous cliché everyone expects us to be. Dorian, I gave you a chance to be a part of this. You turned me down. The Elder One has power you would not believe. He will raise the Imperium from its own ashes. That's who you serve. The one who killed the Divine. Is he a mage? Soon, he will become a god. He will make the world bow to mages once more. We will woo from the Boric Ocean to the frozen seas. You can't involve my people in this. Alexius, this is exactly what you and I talked about never wanting to happen. Why would you support this? Stop it, Father. Give up the Venatori. Let the Southern Mages fight the Breach, and let's go home. No, it's the only way, Felix. He can save you. Save me. There is a way. The Elder One promised if I undo the mistake at the temple. I'm going to die. You need to accept that. Seize them, Venatori. The Elder One demands this man's life. Murder! <laughs> Your men are dead, Alexius. 
You are a mistake. You should never have existed. No! What is going on? Fucking red lyrium here. Displacement. Interesting. It's probably not what Alexius intended. The rift must have moved us to what? The closest confluence of arcane energy. The last thing I remember, we were in the castle hall. Let's see. If we're still in the castle, it isn't. Oh, of course, it's not simply where, it's when. Alexius used the amulet as a focus. It moved us through time. Next time, we figure out what the fuck he's talking about.